Nico Pareca. It's a lovely ball from Pareca as he picks out Pablo Sarabia. Sarabia turns it back into Franco Basquez. It's his shot. Oof, just wide from Basquez. But that's the best we've seen from Sevilla so far in this game. And it all started from a wonderful diagonal pass from Nico Pareca, the captain at centre back. Franco Basquez, the man who tried to finish off the move with a goal, but his shot just wide of the far post. Well, as Danny Pareco lines up this corner kick, swings it into the danger zone, and what a chance that was. Looked like Abdenur who got the final touch. Well, actually, it was just beyond Abdenur, wasn't it? I think Valencia. Pareco in towards the goalkeeper and he did really well Sergio Rico just to get something on it and you've seen that really late the whistle's gone it's a free kick I think for a foul by Abdenur on the keeper and let's see this one again it was dangerous from Danny Pareco and he fired it in it's a really poor pass from Rami Sevilla trying to be too clever at the back and well the fans furious Nico Pareca Ball over the top for Vitolo. Nice turn from Vitolo. Oh, it's in. Well, Severa found a goal from absolutely nowhere. Vitolo turned in onto his left foot. And the ball has found its way into the back of the net. I think it may go down as an own goal. But Severa have made the, uh, the deadlock. Here's Vitolo, turns onto his left and it goes in off Ezekiel Karai. Sevilla finally break the deadlock after 53 minutes. And it's in slightly fortunate circumstances. It's Ezekiel Karai who turns into his own net. Bieto was well positioned behind him, waiting for the cross from Vitolo. But the last touch comes off Karai and it Danny Pareco's free kick. Well, he's gone straight for goal. Tried to surprise Sergio Rico. And in the end, the Sevilla goalkeeper chose to palm the ball over the crossbar. Well, why not? Not a bad effort at all from Danny Pareco. But to catch the goalkeeper unawares. It's good football this from Valencia as Danny Pareco plays it forward into Rodrigo. His first time effort just wide. It's probably the best we've seen in an attacking sense from Valencia in this game. Rodrigo furious with himself for not hitting the target. It was a long way going off in his place. Ben Yeda. Here's Nani for Valencia on the edge of the severe area. And it's a left-footed shot from Nani. It's not a million miles away either. Well, look at that for a strike. It whistles just wide. It's been a very different second half, that's for sure. And you'd probably argue, especially since the goal, things have really livened up here. There's a chance for Valencia now. Would you believe it? And it's Munir. That could well be his first touch since he came on as a substitute. And what a touch it is with the outside of the left boot. He steers it. Sergio Rico in the Sevilla goal and in off the post and there's the equaliser for Valencia what a finish that was from the substitute the man on loan from Football Club Barcelona what about this for a finish wonderful from Munir it's Cancelo with the pass and a first time finish from the Valencia number 9 Munir and he finds the back of the net. Well, what a way to announce yourself on the field of play. Munir, who's been on for a matter of seconds. can go on to try and win this game. As the corner comes in. The shot from distance and it's in. And it's the captain, Nico Pareca. 
the most unlikely of scorers from the edge of the box. But it's Pareko who took his time, controlled the ball and volleyed it in off the post with his left boot. It was a really good finish in the end from the centre-back. And the fans are really enjoying this one. Well, he did so well. Brought it down on his chest, waited for it to bounce. And it's a perfect finish, in off the post, unstoppable. Absolutely nothing that the goalkeeper, Diego Alves, could do.